In 1997, TV series Salty's Lighthouse would make its debut on television. Produced by Sunbow Entertainment, it would repurpose footage from the 1989 TV series Tugs, making use of final episode masters of Tugs. 13 15 minute episodes and 4 20 minute episodes. Due to this, many plot lines and certain pieces of footage will be reused. While most of the series doesn't do this, there are rare moments where Salty's Lighthouse does take certain scenes from the original Tug series, although rewritten to varying degrees. The following clip showcases rare times. First showing a clip from the original Tug scene, and then a clip from the Salty's Lighthouse version. Hopefully, this will help convey the differences between the two series. Ahoy! Ahoy there! Ahoy! You with the oil barge! You're in my way and you're idle! Hey, don't make idle tugs, so move and move fast, that is an order! Ahoy! Ahoy! Oh, you naval twit! You scraped a brand new barge deliberately! I gave an order to move out of my way. This harbour is the most undisciplined I've ever walked in. If I order you to jump, you jump. That barge is conscripted for a naval purpose. And if I want to scrape it, I will. I'll scrape you too if you don't get to your post on time. I'm always on time, and you know it. Uh, you'd better be, or I'll have you clapped in dry dock. It's about time you fancy stars started living up to your name. Now, get some steam in your boiler and start turning your screw. Mobilisation, that is what I want. Mobilisation! Oi! Oi, you, come back here! Oi, you just scraped it again! Oi! Z-Stacks are bad enough, but Bluno, oh, he's something else. Shortly after that, Blue Nose was towing a Navy barge. Top secret supplies coming through. Make way! I'll have my fuel barge out of the way in a sec, Blue Nose. I'm tangled in the buoy line. Too bad, Ten Cents. The Navy waits for no one. Rule 34J. But Blue knows it's a fuel barge. You could throw a spark and cause a fire. The only thing I'm gonna throw at you is the rule book for clogging the waterways. Now make way, unless you want to spend a couple of days in dry dock. Oh, there's nothing worse than a bossy boat. I heard that. Insulting a naval vessel. That's a violation of rule 19J. Oh, look at the water. It's, it's bubbling. It's, what is it, 10 cents? What do we do? Sunshine watches the skeleton of an old ship rises from the bubbling water. Oh no! Another ghost ship! This is amazing! It looks like an old pirate ship. Stay close. <gasps> Not that close. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Well, I am. And I don't like what I see. Go ship, go ship, go away. Visit someone else's bay. Ten cents! Look! It's working! It's going away! But where's it going? What's happening to it? Phew! I gotta admit, that was pretty scary. Yeah. I'm sure glad you were here with me, sis. Me too, big brother. Come on, let's get this fuel out to Lily. The sooner the better. As Ten Cents and Sunshine disappear into the fog, they still aren't sure the ship is real or just in their imaginations. I think I hear something. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nothing in sight. The tug fleets have rumbled me. Hey, Tung Siro! You're cornered. You can't escape. Uh, I'm not trying to. Well done, Ten Cents. He's the pirate, all right? No, I'm not a real pirate. We know you're not. Jump has taught us everything. He saw you and those two green-eyed things. Did you see the old man there, too? Everything. We must save him. He's my uncle. They're holding him to ransom, to make me steal barges. Even if I get one more, they might still sink him. Well, help us to help you, and we'll sink them. Yeah, anything you say. Shh. Here he comes now. Get ready. Er, it's awfully quiet. Too quiet. Cut your engine! Huh? Hold it right there, pirate! Uh, what? What's happening? What's happening is you've been caught by the best trappers in the harbor. You again. It's me, all right, and your pirating days are over. I say, you've caught my pirate. You couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind that. We've caught you, haven't we? Save that train? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, the bridge has given way. The bridge is going down! We must do something. Think, Stinker, think. I've got an idea. Push me under that rail, quick! I don't understand. What are you doing? Using my brain and my garbage. If I do this right, the train will splash into my trash. But, but, but you could be hurt. Maybe, but I'll take that chance if I can save the train. Stinker, old chap, you really are brave. Oh, yeah, I just hope this idea doesn't stink. Lord Stinker's idea is a smashing success. Instead of crashing into the water, the train lands safely in Lord Stinker's garbage. Although some of the cargo ends up in the water, no one is hurt. As the tricky part of the docking operation started, Zoran watched closely. Sunshine and Ten Cents were working hard at their new job when OJ ordered Sunshine to ease back. This is where we win the contract. Zoran saw his chance. When he thought no one was looking, he moved hard on Sunshine. Whoa, Sunshine hey. went into the rudder of the big liner. Say, so what's going on? She's out of control. Off. Oh, I've got her, OJ. The unimaginable had happened. The Starfleet had had to accept help from the Z-Stacks. <laughs> oh, so that's devious. Nice one, Zoran. Well done, Zoran. Glad to be of service. <laughs> I'm in trouble! What's going on back there? The wind's got me! Come on, Zeros. Time to be heroes. I can't stop! I'm gonna crash! <laughs> Sunshine? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Never fear! Zoran's here! All together... Push! That away, CB. Let's get this liner lined up. <laughs> 